Gloria Tinubu, the 7th Congressional District nominee from Tuesday's primary at the State Election Commission's office Friday, pleading her case as to why more than 2,300 votes for State Representative Ted Vick should not count. James Smith, Tinubu's attorney, argues that under South Carolina law, Vick's votes are not valid. Mr. Vick is no longer a candidate at the time the votes were cast. Uh, and therefore, when you look to uh, 7-1716, to determine whether or not you include and count his ballots in determining a majority, it's clear that you don't. Vic withdrew his name May 25th following a drunk driving arrest, but he was still on the ballot. Tanuba's closest opponent in the race, attorney Preston Britton, who was not present Friday, argues that since there wasn't a clear-cut winner, there should be a runoff. After an hour closed-door meeting, the commission voted 3-2 to two in favor of not counting Vic's votes and will not order a runoff. There is... Uh, certainly an, an argument that uh, these votes uh, should not be included and it's consistent with what uh, had happened uh, in the rulings in Anderson and, and Florence. The Attorney General had given us opinion uh, that, that we should include the votes. We had to deliberate that and come up with the best decision we could. A decision has been made, but the battle isn't over. A Britain supporter has filed a lawsuit, a judge ordering election officials not to calculate voting machines for a runoff until next week's hearing. In Colombia, Zoheb Hasnali, Watch Fox News.